What up, everybody? Welcome back for game seven of week one of the DPL between Wigglytuff's Guild and Legion of Boom. Here we have an Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon game. The series score is currently tied at 3-3, and we have Pyronox facing off against Undead. We have Z Torn and Z Mew on the left, and Z Zero Aura and Z Infernape on the right. We're not gonna waste any time here. Let's get right into the replay. We are going to lead off with our Tornadus Therian, and we're going to immediately go for a Toxic, I believe, this turn, and we miss the Zero Aura, and we get our Wakan Berry knocked off, which is very unfortunate. Uh, go for knockoff into the Persian, and we are Rocky Helmet, so they take a little bit of chip. Go f goes for Plasma Fist, does 33%, and uh, we're able to Toxic the Zero Aura finally using our Persian this time. So now we are going to go for a Foul Play, get some chip on the Infernape, 38% is really nice, and then we're going to go for a Parting Shot and uh, we're going to switch into our Tornadus, which shouldn't take too much from this Flare Blitz, although it takes 51%, so I think the Infernape is choice banded. Uh, in any case, we are going to go for a uh, Acrobatics here into the Zara Aura. We end up critting it. Uh, we did get burned from the Flare Blitz, unfortunately, so that's reduced damage, and now we're going to go into Nido King as Undead correctly predicts that and goes for Breakneck Blitz, does 68%, and uh, we're going to fire off a Sludge Wave this turn, I believe, and catch the Uxie, doing 33% to it. Uh, it reveals to not be leftovers so we're kind of expecting uh, a super berry right I papa all of those uh now garchomp comes in on our torn as we just go for defog this is a mega garchomp so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful with this thing uh we end up getting off a toxic on it and going down to the dragon claw plus burn i believe or we're at one percent we're at one percent so we're going to go for a u-turn here so there's no more rough skin there could still be a rocky helmet in the back but pyro takes the chance goes into persian on the dragon claw here and then this turn goes for a fake out which is really good as that's going to increase the toxic damage now this following turn is the one that i don't agree with so we have a one percent tornadus that isn't doing much it's burned and it's an acrobatic set right you can see the entire set there on screen uh, it's only got acro and u-turn it's not doing too much into the rest of this team it maybe gets off a suicide toxic on like yuxi or azu right it's not doing anything else yes it's faster than the infernape we have a few things faster than the infernape or that at least speed tie it right we, we still have this persian but we could foul play here, uh, or we could parting shot. Um, we decide to foul play, which gets in the Uxie. And then we decide to foul play again. Even though the Super Berry is extremely obvious, Pyro decides to foul play again. Now, I disagree with that play entirely. Uh, I think that a parting shot should have come out into the Garchomp. That would have let us reposition into the Uxie, or at least go for the parting shot this this turn instead of giving the Uxie its Ayapapa Berry and allowing it to get back up Stealth Rocks. Now we're gonna go for another foul play and we are going to live the U-turn with 3%. Zara Aura is gonna come back in. And now at this point, we are going to let Persian go down. Now, I thought Persian was still really good here. It was applying an immense amount of pressure on the team. And I thought it was super good. That's why I preferred the parting shot play into uh, into the Garchomp rather than the foul play. Like I get rid of, I get that getting rid of Garchomp is is pretty important, uh, but at the same time, like you can just completely reposition against that. You have a Mega Altaria. You have a, a full health Mew. You even have your Tornadus which we've discussed is not that useful, but instead the Persian's gonna end up going down here and Zara Aura is sitting at 22%. Now Nido King comes back in. I think it should be pretty obvious what item we are here from the way that we're playing it. We're gonna go for Sludge Wave on Gloom. It doesn't do too much, does 32%. Now we're gonna go into Torn and we are going to catch a Sludge Bomb and it's gonna go down. Uh, obviously we could have just clicked Sludge Wave again. I don't think we would have died to Sludge Bomb from where we were at, but uh, Nido King's an important piece. So that, that play I agree with. Uh, in comes Mew now and our Mew goes for Rock Polish. Now, Gloom is notorious for running a lot of support moves. And uh, as you'll see later, we go for Sleep Powder here, or they go for Sleep Powder here, put us to sleep. We end up falling asleep for a turn. Zeraora comes in, and I think it goes for uh, an Endeavor here. Uh, and then it's gonna go down to 3%, and then we are going to go for a Roost as they decide to go for Plasma Fist instead of going for Endeavor, Endeavor again, hoping that we'd stay asleep. Now we're at 20%. The Azu comes in, goes for Aqua Jet, and Mew lives. And we end up going for the Genesis Supernova, which sets up Terrain, which, if you don't know, prevents priority. We have Psychic Terrain up, so now they can't Aqua Jet us anymore, and we're at plus two speed. Yuxi now comes in on Psychic, takes 22%, and Mew reveals Taunt. So we had Taunt. We could have been awake against the Gloom, and we could have been a lot healthier. Um, now, Taunt 
kind of makes sense into the Uxie because you want to prevent like T-Wave as you're trying to go for Roos because you need to be a little bit healthier into the other stuff. Uh, and they do reveal Yawn. So either one, right? You stop that. And now we can get off the Roost here and now the Uxie is going to go for the U-turn. And now we're sitting at 32%. Now here, right here. This is important. Garchomp comes in. We calced Garchomp earlier into our Persian and into our Torn. And we saw that it was pretty much max attack. Mew takes like 52-ish max from Earthquake. I think somewhere around that range with the set that we are. And instead of roosting here, uh, Psychic Terrain is about to go down. As you can see, its counter is on one. So we only have the boost in Psychic for this one turn. However, this status right here is doing the work for us. So unless Garchomp clicks exactly Swords Dance this turn, which is absurd into a Mew that's faster and can just click Psychic. We can just let the Toxic do its job. We will end up maybe a little bit lower, but as we saw earlier, the Infernape seems to be Choice Banded, and the Azu, the, the, the Aqua Jet doesn't kill us unless we're under like 21%, right? There's no roll that kills us. So this is the Uxie's at four. The Gloom is at 68, and it's basically like only got sleep powder to hit us. Nothing else is going to do the job here. If we just stay committed and just keep going for Roost, we will win this exchange. But Pyro instead decides to Psychic, thinking that it's going to kill the Garchomp, and it doesn't because Garchomp is super bulky on the, spe on the specially defensive side. Uh, and it was obviously running a little bit of bulk here. So. We don't end up killing the Garchomp. Earthquake's gonna take us out. We would have had to roost for like three turns, I think, because the, the terrain goes down and Psychic's damage output gets reduced by 1.5 times. So it goes down to like 27. So we need like three ticks of Toxic to actually knock out this Garchomp. But if the Earthquake's doing like 52, 53 max, at most you're taking 9% from where you were. You were at 32, you end up at 23, which is still out of Azumarill range. Now, even if Azumarill gets the revenge kill on you, at least you get to uh, set, set up and position against the Azumarill. But instead, now we have to like figure out what they're going into. We end up going into Terrakion, they go Gloom. We go for a Stone Edge here, I believe. Yeah, we go for Stone Edge on the Uxie. Uh, our Terrakion is very offensive. Azu's easily dead to the Stone Edge, but Stone Edge does what it does best, and it misses the Azumarill. We would have pretty much won the game here, but instead, Stone Edge misses. We catch a play rough, and now there's pretty much no way to recover from this. We got to go Altaria. Uh, we end up... Uh, oh, right. <laughs> Pyro's timer runs out. So there was still a shot here. There was still a shot that we could have won but it would have required uh, the Infernape to basically miss Gunk Shot, I believe, is the only way that we can win. Um, yeah, into either Nidoking or, or Altaria. Like, if we switch into to Nidoking, that's a possibility, but I think we, we just always stay in with Alt uh, at this point. But essentially, if the Azumarill would have been a little bit lower here, Terrakion and Altaria could have cleaned up the game. They could have just finished the game on their own. But because we decided to just attack the Garchomp without actually seeing if it was going to be a guaranteed kill, we end up taking a loss here. So, Wigglytuff's guild goes down three to four. And I'm kind of upset at this point because I thought we, we put in some good work this week. Uh, obviously, Sylvie got the, the win earlier in the week, right? That, that was game two, if you guys remember that from Tuesday. Sylvie got that, that win. Uh, with a little bit of fortune with the, the freeze dry and he didn't play the best um, This one obviously we got quite unlucky at the beginning of the game and then we also missed stone edge uh, And then uh, we lost the timer. <laughs> so this one sucks Everything else though the other losses this week. I feel like could have been prevented. I think that we uh, Either didn't put in enough work got too comfortable in mocks and in prep uh, Or we played too fast which was burgers case and I think all of those losses could have been prevented. And I was really upset at this point. So much so that I just messaged my opponent. I'm like, dude, you want to go? I was just like, okay, I just want to get this week over with. I'm so annoyed with this. Obviously, we can still get a draw if I win my game. But at this point, I'm like not even feeling confident anymore. We just lost three games in a row. And I was just like so dejected. Um, but you guys are going to want to go and check out my game, which is actually up right now. 
So go and click on that. Just just go to the videos on the channel and you'll see that my game is actually up right now. I'm, I'm putting it up basically at the same time as this one. So go and check that out. Make sure to subscribe to the channel before you do though. Like the video if you haven't already and go and check out that game. And I will see you guys there. Peace.